here we are at the museum, no, the palace that has, um, that has Plaza Botero, which is, and what he does is, is and what he does is, and what he does is, Hey guys, I want to welcome you to my beautiful city, Medellin. I am really excited to make this video. I've been planning it for a while and I wanted to show you the beautiful places that you can encounter here when you come to my city. So let's start the tour. Here we are at the Palace of Culture, Rafael Uribe Uribe. It's a beautiful place. Now it's a place where you can encounter music, art, and beautiful sceneries for art to be shown. I hope you enjoy it. beautiful palace used to be the government before it was named after the general Rafael Uribe Uribe that used to live here and you can enjoy concerts conferences and art exhibitions you're gonna love it as you can see the palace has a gothic architectural design that has been a perfect location for TV shows inspired in the early Medellin Just outside this palace, we're gonna go check out Plaza Botero with 23 of the most important sculptures of artist Fernando Botero. For those of you who don't know who Botero is, he is one of the most well-known and well-recognized artists of Latin America. He's a painter and he's also a sculptor. And what he does is that with his art, he represents figures that are enlarged or big or fat. Some of them could represent humor and some of them could represent criticism depending on the sculpture. Let's go check them out so you can see them. at the Art Museum of Antioquia. Here they have the biggest collection of artists Fernando Botero and Pedro Nel Gomez. I'm gonna show you some of their most important pieces. Their art talks a lot about our culture and our daily life and how we used to live and how we live now 
and it's just beautiful. Well, both artists are very talented. They're very different. Artist Fernando Otero, as I told you before, works a lot with uh, exuberant figures. And Pedro Nel Gomez was more realistic in everything he painted, and he was inspired by the political and social movements of the time. Cisneros Square or Park of the Lights. It used to be a marketplace in the old Medellin. Now it's this beautiful place that you're gonna check out right now. But the funny thing is that behind me we have a huge marketplace where you can find everything and anything. From Colombia's typical food to electronics to clothes, everything. So it's a must visit place when you come to the city. You can also find really inexpensive stuff. So a lot of people from the city come here to buy stuff for parties or for their homes. It's a very Pinterest and happy place. of transportation in the city. Before we used the metro, which is one of the most important means of transportation of Medellin. It's beautiful and I want you to see it because it crossed the whole city and the Tambia goes to all the little towns that the metro couldn't reach before. At the Astor Imagine, this is one of the most representative bakeries in the city and you're gonna love it. I mean, if there's anything that I love is food, especially Colombian food. Most of their plates are Colombian and their Colombian influence is very important too. So let's go check it out and let's go eat some really good Colombian stuff. This place brings a lot of memories from when I was a child because my grandfather used to work at this very store and I remember that when I came here, I always ordered the same thing. I ordered one of these, which is a crown and it's delicious and it's so good. And this, which is called Moro and it's a little frog. It's so yummy, but very, very sweet. It became very representative of this place. And everybody who came here ordered it and took a picture with it. There's a big wall behind the bakery where you can see all of the celebrities and important people who took pictures with this very own frog. So delicious. On top of this bakery, there's a building that's called Edificio Consejero. 
It's uh, called the Hair Building. Back in the day, Caldeher was one of the most representative textile companies in Latin America. Plus, it was the highest building in Medellin at the time. There's a very special story very dear to my heart from this building. And is that in this very old building, my parents met for the first time. My mom and my dad used to work in textiles and they met and they fell in love. And thanks to it, I'm here. No, I'm just kidding. I guess that's one of the reasons why I fell in love with fashion and textiles, thanks to my father who taught me so much. This is where we end our first tour of Medellin. There's so much more I want to show you from my city. And I wanted to start at the very heart of it, the center of the city. I hope you like it, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you come visit soon. I'll see you. Lots of kisses to you all.